In this short demonstration, we will briefly look at um, IBM Watson Assistant and how they handle disambiguation. So if you go to your skill, the main skill items are here. And if I go to disambiguation, you can see here I can toggle um, the functionality on or off. Um, I get a main heading. Um, um, where I can have the disambiguation message. Let's translate to um, um, this might be of help. And then also you can add anything else, none of the above, something like that. And you can set the number of suggestions. So what's interesting, you can Take it down with a maximum of is five. So um, I like this function because it means that you give some structure to your conversation. You introduce structure to the conversation to advance the conversation, but not too much that you lose the conversational flow and the conversational feel of it of your chatbot. And um, then also you can set. Um, if you want to use your node name or create an external node name. So we're going to use node name for now. And then if we go to our dialogue to see our nodes, you will see that if I click on a node, I can activate uh, or deactivate disambiguation for this node. If it, So this means it will be if it's on, it will be displayed. It might be displayed in the list of disambiguation. And you'll see at the top here, I've got a name for my node. So I can have an internal node and name and an external node name. So there might be a case where this is internal and it's not really intelligible or usable for a user. So you might have, you can use the option where you use an external name here. We have a, a better description here, um, something that um, explains the function. So this is quite a convenient option. So you'll see for the purpose of this demonstration, I created a few intents. And these intents are all loan related, loan ask, loans, loan department. Um, so normally you won't have um, ambiguous intents like this, but obviously this is uh, on purpose. And all these loan intents have got more or less the same expected uh, user examples or utterances. So if I go to my dialog, you will see here uh, I've got a few loan um, dialog nodes. And um, so you can, see, you can see the condition if the assistant recognizes the loans or loan ask or loan department intent, then this node will be invoked and this message will be displayed. So just to illustrate this ambiguation, let's just wait for Watson to complete its training. Right, so Watson has, so Watson has completed its training. So the most ambiguous Input I can add uh, yes learn. So if I do that immediately, you see. Um, if I go here, you can see the the match is it's equal in terms of loan department loans or asking for a loan, applying for a loan. And here my options are displayed: uh, pay a loan, apply for credit, or what is a loan. Um, and I've got my detail there as well. So then if I go to um, this option. So here you, you will see, even though I've got my names as loan one, loan two, loan three, loan four, the node names, the displayed uh, value is the value at the bottom. For loan two, the display value is get a loan. So if we look for what is a loan, um, so it's just loan four. So if I turn off disambiguation here and I re-enter the value loan, you 
will see what is alone is not displayed and it's removed from the list. So this is a brief overview of the ease of use um, and accessibility of adding configuration to your IBM Watson Assistant chatbot.